Private party, or can anyone crash it? You've done a lot for the city, Aiden. For the Night Runners. There'll be one of us someday, Aiden. We'll make a decent runner, won't he, Lawan? Huh? Ah, oh, the best. But as for today, hey, everyone, I wanted to say something. Hey! Everybody, hey! Hey! Shut up, all of you! Frank's got something to say. By whatever authority remains in me, I hereby make Luan officially and forever a night runner. The fuck yes! Hey, hey. Luan, you Get the bro. fuck out! Give him a beer! Frank? Uh, you mean. So, you're really bringing back the night runners? No, you're bringing them back. You and Aiden, in fact. You've already started. These old bastards are all former night runners who heard my broadcasts and came back. But you, you did them one better. You grew up. <laughs> Fuck you. That's See? awesome. The creed. If Hakon's alive, it means you learn to forgive. You found balance. That's what being a night runner is really all about. What about you, Frank? Do you forgive? Your timing always sucked, Hakon. Sometimes. But maybe not this time. I thought you could use this. Where'd that come from? I've kept it with me all along, Frank. So what's going on, dude? Chief. If Luan can forgive you. <laughs> I guess I have no choice. Awesome. Not a ringing endorsement, but I'll take what I can get. Good. Now, this is Lawan's time, not yours. Step back and shut up. Everybody, get your asses up to the roof. Much better place for a ceremony than a fucking bar. Oh, yeah! Nice. Forged in you to serve a cause greater than myself. Today I am forged anew to serve a cause greater than myself. I shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind. I shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the light in the darkness. I shall be the light in the darkness. This is my sacrifice. This is my sacrifice. This is my pledge. This is my pledge. As a night runner. As a night runner. Out of the job. I'm gonna make you proud. You already have, and I say that calls for celebration. Everyone. Back down to the bar. Aiden, the GRE doctor I told you about. It's Veronica Ryan. She lives in Old Villador. Are you kidding me? What? Well, she's one of the first people I met here. We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. I guess I managed to wake this her off during my booze hound days. Because I convinced her to help you. Can we talk before you leave, Aiden? Hmm. Uh, sure, yeah. Mm, I seem serious. Talk to you later, kid. Good luck. So you're gonna talk, or...? So... Congratulations. Sorry... for avoiding you. I just... You know what they say. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Yeah. That's a pilgrim saying. Neither of us need to worry anymore. Luan, I... I was worried. <sighs> Here it comes. 
You are just the worst. Who left after, um, after your place, eh? Hackons and my place. Yeah, I can say that now. If I can say that, then it proves that you don't have to worry about me. I don't know. I want to say yes, I do, but for the story's sake, I'll say this. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. You heard Frank. It's a new day. A new Night Runners. A new me. Yeah, I don't know. I like the old you just fine. Night Runner or not. <laughs> Such sweet words, Aiden. Are you that drunk already? I literally haven't drank. Yeah, I guess I better quit while I'm ahead. Look, I'm sorry I bailed on you. I was just... No, it's okay. It, it was really none of my business. But I made it your business. When I took you there. Maybe I did it on purpose. On purpose? You've made me, and Frank, all this, your business. And look how much all of us have gained. Maybe I... I wanted you to know. But I was too chicken shit to come out and tell you so. Yeah, I've done a lot for this damn so... place. We went shoe shopping. <laughs> right. Those fucking shoes. They look good on you. Okay. I've... I gotta go. I... To look for your sister, right? Sometimes I... Envy her. Envy her? How? That... She means so much... To someone. She might be dead for all I'm we sorry. know, so... Fuck, I'm talking bullshit. No, no, you're not. God, I want to select the opposite answer Just for all. Shut up. Thank you. Frank's got something for you, Aiden. Yeesh. <laughs> Come on. No, waiting for Yeesh. you downstairs. I'm coming, Hack on. Fuck. You go do your thing, Aiden. And good luck. Right now. I think I just gotta do my thing. She went out of her way the to shoulder. Things him. Change, the more they stay the same. Hey, kid? Uh, Frank found that doctor you were looking for, Veronica Ryan. Seems she used to work for the GRE. And I thought I knew everything about the women in this city. You can probably find her somewhere around the church. Hack <laughs> on, such a legend. I'm glad I didn't kill him. I have more to tell you, Luan. First, the renegades, and now you. Hey, relax. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm a friend. Where's Veronica? Why do you want to know? Because I need her help, and it seems she may need mine as well. Is she okay? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No, but we can try to contact her. Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? <sighs> Shit. Something's not right. Yes, I'm safe. Are you? Oh, I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. Yeah, Dr. Ryan, I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Frank told me you worked for the GRE. I need access to the GRE database in the observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? That's what I've been told. You think you can... Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. No. Okay, I'll go... Wait, hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Well, it seems that despite everything, you saved my life. I got you, brother. Farewell, Aiden. Farewell. For you from the bazaar. You I don't the remember you at all. Yes, but only to get here, really. Ator. He was trying to do something good in Old Villador. But the hatred between the Bazaar and PK grew too strong. It became a powder keg. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the mm. same reason as you. To access the GRE database. 
What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? Joe Mama. Joe Mama. I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? Why are you helping me? Are you looking for something in the database as well? Aiden, those vaults contain my organization's biggest secrets. I almost died because I was a part of it. I need to know what they were hiding. What if you don't like what you discover? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Okay, all right. Give me the key, Aiden. No. Why would you do that? Are you sure the key is functional? Well, it has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you. And she's gone. Just like that. Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Let's go, dude. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. Wait, you're not coming? No, I, I will join you, but first, I'd like you to restore the power to the building. You see, I have panic attacks when I'm in tight spaces or in the dark. <laughs> now, you probably think I'm a coward. Not at all. I think it took guts to come here. So let's do this. When you get there, first get it, restore dude. the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. This stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. <sighs> I wasn't the blocker is working. Time. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, you don't have to be an asshole. <laughs> Warning, main power circuit malfunction in block B. Emergency protocol initiated. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. Hey, Veronica, found the entrance. So far, so good. But how do you know this place so well, by the way? 
I was here just once, long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really. Uh, something seems sketch about all Veronica? Oh my I have God. a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I can get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden. Are you serious? Are these all virals? Get off. Oh my god. I hate the animation. I give it. You're fat, you're fat, you're fat. I made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security tunnel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. Yeah, this place was quite the hive. Plenty of infected. But I got rid of them. They were people too, Aiden. They deserve respect. Aiden? What? What's going on? The elevator! It stopped! I see. I think it blew a fuse. I'm checking. Do something. Quick. Please. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Please, don't leave me here. Don't be afraid. I just need a moment. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. What do you mean, find a way? Bam. Veronica, the power's back. You all right? Veronica, I'll meet you by the elevators. Are you all right? See? Told you everything would work out. Just get in. What an asshole. No apologies. Nothing. You always been claustrophobic? Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake, can we not talk about this right now? The, the database. Where is it? Just give me a moment. Okay, so you don't want to talk about the thing that scared you, and you don't want Even to talk about our main objective. Another six floors down. This is a pretty high tech. Before the GRE, this complex was run by the military. They used it to monitor threats, rocket attacks, that sort of thing. That's why they called it the observatory. Then the virus came, and that was the end. That's quite the story. They used to call places like this witnesses to history. Great. I'd be careful just Dark walking again. out. Wait, I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor. 